Seattle is an example of how you have a great city. It's a great city, as I said, because of what we are doing here today and what we do every day. There are so many people who came together to create today, so many organizations, and you're going to hear from some of them, and before we're done here this afternoon, we're going to thank all of them. But when the city decided to put together a program in particular to reach out to our new immigrants, those who had were concerns about their status. We had a partner in the Seattle Foundation and Tony Mestres. And while we are attempting to, while we have actually put 250,000 new dollars into our program, uh, Tony is leading an effort on the private side to bring in dollars so that we can build this program. I also want to thank the office of, the Seattle Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs and our director, Ku Vu, in particular. When, after the election, I turned to Ku and I said, I want to do this event today. She reminded me that it takes months and months and months and months of planning. And I said, please. And she said, yes. So I have to thank this, the employees of the city of Seattle, Ku in particular, her office, and the incredible volunteers who just in a few weeks reached out and brought 750 volunteers together and as you know, people have been lined up since 7 a.m. this morning uh, to get advice and services. So a big, big thank you to you, Ku, and to your folks. You're going to hear about a series of programs, our Family Unity Project, again, uh, that we're partnering with the Seattle Foundation. You're going to hear about a hotline that we've established for people to report hate crimes. Um, that number and that number goes into our Civil Rights Office is 206-233-7100. But remember, by being a welcoming city, by being a city that is sometimes called a sanctuary city, 911 is also a number you should call. Our police department, which helped round up Japanese Americans during the Second World War, is a police department today that will not ask your status. If you are a victim of a crime, if you're a victim of domestic violence, Call the police department. They're not interested in your immigration status. They're interested th that you're safe. Our fire department, if you have an issue of health or an emergency related to a fire or something else, call our fire department. They're not going to ask your status. They want to offer you services. Call our city. Don't be afraid. We need you to feel protected. We don't want you in the shadows where you can be a victim of crime or where your health may be in jeopardy. So finally, let me end where I began. We were offered two visions today of America, the vision on the Capitol steps in Washington, D.C., and the vision in this building here in the city of Seattle. I believe, as we have in our past, despite the pain I mentioned, that it is the vision here in this room and in this city that will be the vision that will be the future of the United States of America. So again, thank you to everybody who is here today.